Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. In the spirit of our more economical greetings, I'm here with Laura and April. Say hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> if you don't think that they're superlative already, nothing I'm going to say is going to convince you otherwise. Man, Simon well, gets mean weird. in all of this. It Sorry? does get mean. It does get yeah. mean. You get mean. It's no, mean. okay. Clearly, clearly people who don't know what superlative means. <laughs> oh, sorry, I heard superfluous because I was spacing. There we go. Well, if you're not going to bother listening to me... Good <laughs> well, lord, anyone so would think we're married. so sassy and mean last time. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Yes, superlative Mom, is a good thing. Dad, stop fighting. <laughs> Go to your room, Laura. Right, moving on, because this is only going to be 25 minutes long, and we're already 15 minutes into it. No, we're not. We're only a minute into it. Okay, we basically had a tutorial session in the last episode. Uh, Mr. Fingerpointy here was going on about how um, if he was to write this game, and apparently he created the whole of this universe, he would have something called personal strength, which would um, give us different um, uh, options through the game. And apparently uh, we know Alex, Claire, um, Rena, and basic resistance training. Okay. Mm. Right. And we have $120. Nice. Yeah. She's actually thinking of this, this game is based in Japan. That's probably about 4 million yen. So, right. Moving swiftly on. <laughs> we chat a little more about dating sims and various anime series before we part ways. I get the maid's telephone number on the way out. He tells me about his waifu. Uh, oh man, <laughs> this day has been a roller coaster. <laughs> I'm already worn out. Uh, apparently, I'm no longer dating as well. But I should probably check my email before I go to sleep. This is what we like to call a hint. <laughs> One new message. Hmm, let's see what we've got here. Subject: You were looking for me. Author, the player. <laughs> so, Ryu, I heard you were looking for me. What the? It's him. Once I thought it was wrong to do these things. Hearing your story, I realized there are far worse evils out there. I've decided to lend you a hand. Thank God it's just a hand. But in return, <laughs> you will promise not to tell anyone about this. So, do we have an agreement? In that moment, I realized my once sweet, sleepy little world was beginning to rapidly spinning out of control. Was beginning to rapidly spinning out of control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. His wife who wrote that. I think we've actually got to the introduction here, guys. Wow. Wait a second. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, was, that, was that just the was that just the build up? That was just the build up, guys. Oh my <laughs> god, it's like watching Sleepy Hollow. Sometimes the opening theme to Sleepy Hollow will be like 14 minutes in. <laughs> the cold actually, opening. There was really a one famous episode where the opening uh, it was actually three minutes after the uh, program had ended. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. I can't believe that that sounds like. Well, yeah, I guess they just don't want to... It was particularly in season one, they didn't want to interrupt the flow of of, um, of the cold open, which kind of worked because in season one, the show didn't really take a breath. It didn't stop to let you rest. And that's why in season two, they've burnt out a little bit and they've got to regain their composure. I was like, what's wrong with Claire? <laughs> This is, this is weird. You sure, it's not, the, you sure it's not the end? <laughs> no, I wonder if your your intro reflects the choices that you've made, like in tone. Possibly. Um, it seems we only actually had one decision up to this point. I'm kind of hoping not. Hmm. Okay, right. It's Sunday, March the 12th, 2006. What should we do today? 
Use computer, check bookshelf, rest, go outside. We use the computer, we can work, right? And get oh, yes. some money. But we've got lots of money. Hmm, true. About a fifth uh, of the bar of stress. I'm not particularly worried about that at the moment. So I'm assuming that's rest. Check bookshelf will give us skills. Yep. And go outside will presumably, and it's just a guess, <laughs> allow us to go outside. No. So of the two, I'm, th I'm leaning between check bookshelf and go outside. I'm not entirely certain what skills we want at this point, though, but it's an option. Hmm, what do you think, Laura? Um, I would go outside. Right, let's go outside, shall we? <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> decision, decision neatly dodged there. Let's go and see what happens outside. So we can go to Tachibana Park or Hannah's Bubble Tea Shop. Should we do the park again? Sure. Um, sure. Right. What should I do? Ah, let's read. Should we? Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, we didn't bring a book. <laughs> oh, no. Um, if we go could somewhere rest. else. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. Um, let's go to the forest. Ooh. I'm just trying def def desperately to avoid Hannah's bubble tea shop. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> well, we gotta have some boba. I, I, I do really want to go to the forest. I want to see if we get any more of that story. Yeah. Okay. The fight so club. That's, yeah, that's, yes, the fight club. That's the one. Even in the daytime, one should always use care when trekking in the wilderness. Let's go to the forest. Go Various on. people claim okay. to have seen the monsters here. Most <laughs> likely it's a product of a lone wolf and someone's mm. wild imagination. Still, it never hurts to be careful. If something weird happens, in this story, never. I can <laughs> always run. I hope. <laughs> I should have brought Rena with me. All I had to do was kick her in the ankles and run slightly faster. <laughs> it's like in The Sims when you when you go into the arboretum mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, you found some fairies. Did you smack them in the face, or you know, <laughs> eat some candy?" <laughs> yes, my mind starts to drift away. Erica, good morning. I'm ready for my first task. I smile brightly at my senior coworker. I hope to learn a lot working with you. Good morning, I. How are you today? Erica returns my smile. She looks so professional, dressed in her lab coat. Somebody else want to do, Erica? Um, with her hair pulled into a neat bun at the nape of her neck. I think we Are you ready to begin your training? Yes, sirree, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I try to hide my excitement, but without much success. Researching magic like this has always been my dream job. You look finer than a new set of snow tires. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you're full of energy. Hang on to that if you can. Follow me then. We began walking briskly down one of the long stereo hallways. Okay, yeah. So let me ask you a few questions to break the ice. Erica go. looks at me with a <laughs> smile. What's your NPR? My magical potential rating? <laughs> I'm C-ranked. What about you? You sound like Mr. Garrison when you did that voice. <laughs> C-plus? Not too much higher than you, it seems. Her voice trails off, and she seems a bit disappointed. <laughs> Possibly at the accent. You totally reminds me of Maggie from Walking Dead with that accent, April. <laughs> I haven't heard... Do you oh, want you to participate in the oh. arena battles? I ask, I ask, I ask gently, but Erica shakes her head. Why are you being so safe? rude? Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> does seem like it would be fun in a way, but this is my job. Besides, the cutthroat atmosphere is a bit too much for me. I'm more suited to tinkering with things at my own place. Do you talk to any of those mages? <laughs> this, is, this accent is just drifting off into the horizon, isn't it? Do you talk to any of the mages? Do you have that in the arena? I wonder if maybe there was one she used to idolize. Or still does. Does he have some sort of thing where he just needs to parrot back people's dialogues? <laughs> Possibly. Did one. Erica did giggles a little. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. I was skipping over you because you're mean. I did once when I was a child. She warned me that unless I had the talent and the burning desire to take it all, take it all the way, I should look yeah. for another job. 
<laughs> what the hell, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> You wanted different voices. I'm giving you different voices. I, I didn't want different voices. I'm quite happy with the, the the voices we do before. Yeah, just do what goes with the flow. Well, too bad. We're I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what. I'll stop doing this bad southern accent. <laughs> I would appreciate that. My ears are bleeding. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding on Simon. <laughs> Some of them are really amazing, aren't they? <laughs> it seems like you cannot research your fullest potential, then you're being pushed like that. <laughs> it was only an offhand comment, but Erica looks away from me and doesn't respond. Possibly because I've just donned my ceremonial kilt. <laughs> she's just she's very confused. But of course, our work is important too, I add quickly. After all, water that never flows eventually stagnates. <laughs> Erica looks up, startled, before bursting into laughter. With that sort of mentality, you'll be a great researcher. See, what I'm doing is my Applejack voice. If you watched My Little Pony, you would understand. <laughs> yes, but fortunately, <laughs> I've managed to avoid that because the side effect of watching My Little Pony is me stabbing myself in the eyes with a screwdriver. <laughs> my Little Pony is really good. For the first couple seasons. Alright, okay, so our max PS <laughs> has gone up, but our PS our pss, pss. has gone down. My head hurts. I don't know why. <laughs> gonna hit you. I'm very sorry, but for the rest of this episode, Arroyo is gonna be talking in his regimental accent. <laughs> was that actually the main character, or was that someone else? I would very much doubt it was the main character. We, let's, let's explore a little bit further, shall we? Mm -hmm. I walk around the forest for a while. And ellipsis. Fortunately, <laughs> nobody saw. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my uh, god. Good lord. We're actually, we're actually drifting into Lauren now, aren't we? A dark, <laughs> a dark creature with glowing red eyes emerges from the shadows, poised to attack. So the rumours were true, after all. Okay, well, welcome here, everybody, to Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's do know. this. Attack! Yeah, don't now. Really, don't really give us much options. Do I... Oh, we have two. Okay, alright. Right. So it's like an ATP bar. Yes, basically. Royal attacks the insect shadow for 51 points of damage. For them for 54 points of damage. And then slaps it silly and runs away, making little whimpering noises. <laughs> insect shadow leaps at Royo. And Royo is bitten for 49 points of damage. Alright, well, we have no choice. Attack! Attack! <laughs> A simple punch. Yes, he simple punches him for 54 points of damage. And then for 51 points of damage. <laughs> and gets bitten for 53 points of damage. This is HP bar. Up in the top left hand corner. No, the, mobs. Oh, the monsters. No, it's secret. Oh, okay, it's none of our business. Yes. As as you know, as we have so many options in the game, keeping it a secret <laughs> it really high heightens the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can we just kick it? <laughs> hey, we've leveled up. <laughs> Woo. Yes. Can we um, kick it? Yes, we can. Right. I think, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you could put in the comments what sort of game mechanic we're not going to find in this one, I'd be interested to see. <laughs> oh, man. That was the stuff of nightmares. I wonder if they're going to make it so you can break ATP in order to do juggles. <laughs> <laughs> but at least the shadowy fiends can be beaten. Explore more. Why not? I walk around the forest for a while. Nope, not doing that one. I don't see anything <laughs> except for trees and grass. Okay, I think we're done. Let's go home. Go home. Go home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lauren's just huh? being the peanut gallery. <laughs> go home. Oh. <laughs> well, do you know in Lord of the Rings where um, he always says to him, go home, Sam? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that bit for Frodo always says go home, Sam. Well, because my cat's called Sam, my brothers find it hilarious that to shout in his wee face, not shout in his wee face, but say his wee face, go home, Sam. (laughs) (laughs) You have to be there, and it is actually quite funny if you're there. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, looks like we've gained something new here. Oh, wow. We have battle stats. Hmm. Wasn't that He Man's mount? Yeah. No, sorry, so it was Battle Cat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now we've got Strength, Endurance, Dex, Speed of 2, Spirit of 4. We're definitely turning into a cleric here, aren't we? And it looks like we've learned something on the right here. Shadows. We've learned Shadows. Hmm. Or we've met Shadows, one or the other. Okay, right. I'm thinking we should check Bookshelf or Rest. What do you think? Bookshelf. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, bookshelf. Alright, and let's put some books in the bag so we have the option later on. Little Disruptor Volume 1? Hmm. Put Little Disruptor Volume 1 in my backpack. Don't take out a book. Let's keep one here. Okay. Alright, and. uh, Oh, let's let's just run through a lot. Let's have a quick look at the computer. Check email, shop on. Let's shop online. <laughs> General items, books, manga. Any preference, guys? Um, well, books would probably be so we can get some skill stuff. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Why not? Cardio, complete out to databases, key to busy the uh, business success. Uh, I'm just gonna get the cheapest one, alright? Programming would oh. maybe make us money though. Good point. Tell you what, let's do that. Advanced programming. I'll receive it in three days. Three what? days. What crap delivery is that? gratification <laughs> like in The Sims. <laughs> Amazon Prime gives me everything in two days. <laughs> two days? I get it one day. Yeah. Right, we've got well, you <laughs> are in a much smaller country. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Yes, yes. We're, we're in Britain. It's a country so small that they just put a catapult on top of the uh, the warehouse. Just <laughs> sling them to us. Yes. Yeah, forget your drones. Okay, I'm going to rest. Get those hit points back up. Ah, okay. I feel better now after resting for a bit. There we go. Which one of these options that we've done before should we do again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe see if that guy's email does again, or... Oh, okay, we spent somewhere. some money, we could work on... Uh, we could. Uh, if... In fact, I'll tell you what, let's read that... Uh, we haven't got that book yet, have we? Nope. Um... Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do some work. Let's do a little bit of work. Uh... Clear Sky Bank. Ha ha, social media. <laughs> 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 I'd go with that. That's hilarious. Okay, oh, we've got levels in this as well. So, okay, should we do another bit of SEO on uh, on them? Sure. Uh, no. Okay, so, right. Right, our hit points have gone back, and we're slightly less pussed than we were. Oh, actually, yes, we are slightly <laughs> less pussed. <laughs> <laughs> what does PS stand for? Sorry, personal for strength. Yeah. Why would that be going down if we're going to sleep? And um, possibly because we haven't talked to anyone. Right. Possibly because we showered. <laughs> <laughs> possibly. I go to bed and fall asleep. And apparently, all the way through the morning. I know. <laughs> right. Should we talk to Sophia? Let's sure. talk to Sophia. So, Rahul, you brought me more information? Maybe. <laughs> I know. You know what? I changed my mind. If there's something you want to talk about, I'll tell you what I can. Really, I thought you were only interested in deal making. Well, you're an exception now. I don't mind talking to you for a bit. Oh, crush me? Maybe. I have no clue what it could be, but she's definitely scheming something. Well, if she's in a charitable mood, I might as well learn anything I can from her. 
He always has a problem with women. No, he doesn't. It seems like he has a little bit of a problem with women. No. Uh, to be fair in mind that he's a programmer, he just has a problem with humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, he automatically... I don't know these bitter experience. <laughs> oh, sorry. Whoops. He automatically mm -hmm. assumes that she's scheming. And the stuff with, like, Rima and, and uh, Claire... Now, have you not just listened to her for a little bit? Of course she's scheming. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Anything you guys would like to learn? Mm, shadows. Isn't that new? Let's do it. You've heard about the shadow monsters, right? Yeah, I have. What of it? I saw some in the forest. What? You've gone to the forest? You didn't take me. <laughs> Listen, Mayu. The forest is unspeakably dangerous. I'm not exaggerating. You should stay out of there. Trust me on this one. Even if we fight off a few of the weaker ones right now, they're getting stronger every day. Sorry, they're getting stronger every day. <laughs> you should quit while you're ahead. Oh, okay. I think we can ask about all of them. Let's go through the list, shall we? Yeah, sure. You said that Alex was part of the Wings of Light. But he can't be further from what I imagined an infamous player would be like. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't tell you much. He's very guarded about his past. All I know is that something terrible happened to make the Wings of Light disband. After that, two of them left town while the last one remained behind. The date Alex transferred to here is the same as one of the ex-members transferred. I don't get the feeling there was some sort of Yoko Ono event. Uh... <laughs> hmm. You don't know anything about what made them split up? It was artistic differences. No, nothing <laughs> at all, I'm afraid. I've been trying to find out for a while now. You were talking about Claire before. Is there anything else you know that I don't? Have you got all afternoon? <laughs> I don't think so. I had heard about her boyfriend before, but that's it. I'm not sure I'd want to be mixed up with her now, to be honest. Judging from your previous reaction when I called her kind, she must have not treated you very well. Well, that's true, but I enjoy it. <laughs> She's only pushing me to improve myself. She's pushing me out of this window to improve myself. <laughs> <laughs> Defenestration makes you stronger. Absolutely. Or bounce, one or the other. <laughs> That's why she's a good friend of mine. She treats me normally. And other people don't. I can beat you like she beats you. What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, no. I'm not really sure what made me say something like that. It just popped into my head all of a sudden. Right, and Rena. Is there anything you can tell me about Rena? Well, not really. Oh, right. She has a crush on you. I already know that much. I'm not that dense. Close, <laughs> but not that dense. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you knew. You really are that dense. Just wanted to let you know. Hey. So, what do you plan to do about it? Considering that she broke up with me herself, there isn't much I can do about it. Thank God this guy is an idiot. <laughs> but I don't really feel like telling Sophia that. <laughs> I don't know, but there is one thing bothering me. Here, it's in my trousers. Scratch it for you, will you? <laughs> and that is... She's the one who told me about Claire's boyfriend, but I don't know how she could have found out. Did she say that Ellipsis. she saw her show? Yeah, I think she did. Yeah. Sorry, but there's nothing I can tell you on that one. I'm going now. Till next time. All right. Any preference, guys? The bubble tea shop. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> we? Oh, look at this. It costs five dollars to read. <laughs> $70 left? Because we spent uh, $50 oh, on that book, yeah? <laughs> well, uh, we can read. We, yeah, we don't have much stress, so let's read. I start reading Little Disruptor, Volume 1. The story is about a clumsy girl named Ellie attending a magical academy for the first time. <laughs> it's awesome. 
Hmm, it does, doesn't yeah. it? She lacks confidence in herself because she tends to make a lot of mistakes. So she's worried about failing. Don't worry, I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> when the teachers investigate one particularly spectacular disaster, they realise it happened because her magic is very different from most people's. Alarmed what this might mean for the magical world, they decide to keep quiet about it. They just bury her in the bottom of the garden. <laughs> her secret power is revealed to be... Dispel magic. I guess it's kind of interesting. <laughs> kind of. Hmm. Kind of. Reading in the atmosphere of the bubble tea shop is fun. <laughs> Should lower his stress. Mm. Well, we don't have much stress. I don't think we have much stress to start off with. Uh, yeah, but you yeah, think that don't want yeah. enjoying the book and a nice bubble tea, please. Let's call someone. The only two important numbers I have are Rena's and Claire's. I see them all the time, so I can really only call them to set up plans to hang out. Brings us neatly back to that itchy feeling in my trousers. <laughs> Alright, who wants to do a voice? If Good lord, that many. <laughs> oh, actually, I've just noticed the time. We are going to stop there, guys. Who are you there we go. Uh, no. Who are you going to call? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lame joke. Couldn't resist it. Yeah. Well, uh, well, come on. Let's be honest here, okay? Which one of us has ever turned our back on a lame joke? <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very yeah. true. Just lean into it. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you've had fun. I have. Yep. Excellent. I have. Says the woman who hasn't had a single line. <laughs> That's why she had fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I've most surely learned not to use this accent around April. <laughs> Apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> had to think about that, but okay. <laughs> and everyone else at home, I've been Simon Parsons. These two have been insane, but what's wrong about that? <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Bye, guys. Bye.